Fast forward until today, she's one of South Africa's most recognized comedians. Tanjira will be presenting her new show in Port Elizabeth. It's entitled Hurricane Tanjira. Uh, she now joins us in studio uh, to talk a little bit more about herself, her performance and, and life to date. What a pleasure to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. It's always lovely to be here. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad. But listen, we talk about Tenjiu and Mosley. So that was my first question to Mosley with a question mark from Kwamashu. You can't beat them, you join them. I'm married an Englishman. My contribution to getting the land back, I can't fight, so I, can, I, I use what God gave me to get some of the land back. Exactly, and I love that. And listen, did I, I have to ask you, did he pay Lobolo? Of course he did. So he did? Yes, he did. This white English guy from London. And the good thing, he doesn't know. He thinks you pay every year to renew the contract. So you haven't actually mm. told him? That, don't no, he live? doesn't have to know. No, he doesn't have to know. He's not watching, is he? Does he live here? No, he lives in England. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, no, that's fine. Go and watch this in England, unless of course you put it on YouTube which is how you became massive oh social media has been such a blessing to me yeah yeah uh, it's it, it's what everybody watches now especially the young ones everyone has something on their phone and it, it, it's just been a blessing it's a brilliant thing although what I what I found quite fascinating was that you um, you actually don't necessarily get your material from social media you sort of rather enjoy speaking to real people I speak to real people about real issues because as a country there are so many things that we need to talk about which we, which we haven't and it's difficult sometimes unless you use humor yeah so it's nice to use comedy that makes someone go back home and think about what they have done, the decisions they've made, and how they can improve either their lives or how they behave in society. Yeah. And a lot of uh, my comedy has made people like think, yeah, actually, I don't need to be do doing that. And it it it's good. And they do it while they're laughing. So it opens conversations between people. You've had the most fascinating life already. I mean, just in terms of uh, being very worldly and seeing the world. So you, you lived, grew up in Kwamashu. You then moved over to America. I think you were an au pair for yes, two years or something. Yes. Where about in the States did you stay? I first stayed in Ohio okay. with a very educated black family. But I knew I wasn't going to last because when I got there at the airport, they had, were dressed in leopard skins and they were pongo, pongo, pongo. <laughs> and they were asking me things like, Tinjiwe, this is a chair. You're no longer in Africa. You don't have to sit on the floor anymore. <laughs> and I was like, no. I think yeah. Americans don't travel. No. That's the problem. Yeah. And the Africa that they are shown in America is not the Africa that you and I are exposed to. That's true. Yeah. So I quickly moved and went, uh, found another family, yeah. uh, which was in Philadelphia. And that was they they had a beautiful. So they didn't, much they didn't bring out the leopard skins and stuff. No, no, they, they were much better. They, they sort of felt like this. This is cool. We can do this. So, so that worked. Then you landed up in in England, and yes. you were studying your LLB there. Yes. How did I, that happen? I went to England because uh, they they used to have the two year working holiday visas. And then when I got there, I realized I love this country. I want to stay longer, but I didn't want to be work for what we call the BBC, yeah. the British mm, cleaners, you know. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going to do the typical jobs that are expected from foreigners who live there, yeah. which is usually nursing and social workers. I respect those professions, but I decided, let me do something different. So I did law. And law is very similar to, to performing because I had already had my degree in drama. Yeah. Because with law, you have a free audience, you are in front, you are performing and... Yeah. And you've got your outfit and exactly. your headgear. It yeah. looks amazing. And you get paid good money for good that. Good money, yes. So then you decided to go into comedy. Yes. I mean, why would you do something like that? I think comedy is my calling. Yeah. I should have done comedy a long time ago. Did you ever practice your comedy in court? Did you get into a court? They used to laugh. It was actually my learned friends who pushed me into comedy. Oh, really? They booked my first gig because they were like, you're busy making us laugh in court when we're supposed to be serious. <laughs> yeah. You go and compete with people who are funny. <laughs> What type of law did you do? I did family law family. and immigration. So, so, I mean, when you say family law, did that deal with divorces? Divorces, yes. So, did you ever, was there ever a moment in this court where you actually said something and people just packed up? And law is funny, you know, the court is funny, especially in England, because I was coming from South Africa, we have real problems. They had first world country problems, like, they would be fighting over a cat, <laughs> over who's keeping the cat, and I'm like... Really? Do we really <laughs> need to be going to court to, to be discussing this? Yeah. And then I did immigration, which I found so fascinating. And I, I helped in a lot of ways because to white people, black people look the same. And a lot of people from other African countries would claim they were South Africans. Yeah. So 
and it's, 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 but you I, knew better. I, I knew better, yeah. and you would go. I just go there, and you, where are you from? South Africa. Stop wasting the money and going to court and wasting our time. Sing us the national anthem, <laughs> and they will start singing a Brenda Farsi song. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and but listen, if you had to speak to a lot of white people, they'd also start singing a Brenda Fuzzy song <laughs> if you asked them to sing the national anthem. I had to put that in. So, so wait, so your friends made you stand up in a comedy club in London? Yes. And I mean, this is London we're talking about. It's not like you're standing in Kwamashi where you can make jokes about where you grew up and the people and La Bola and all of this stuff. Mm. I mean, you're talking to, you know, our colonizers. Yes, and I had been living in London, so there were a lot of things that... I could talk about, and especially because I came with a different uh, style of comedy, because I was looking at it from a foreigner's point of view, from a, an African's point of view. Yeah. So they were laughing, because these are things that they're used to, which are so different from what they, 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 how they look at them. Yeah, it is so fast. I love it. So you've got a show coming up, Port Elizabeth, um, titled Hurricane Tenjiwe. Yes, on the 1st of September, uh, Hurricane Tenjiwe. You know Hurricane Dinewo lied to us. Yes. We waited and waited and waited. Hurricane Tenjiwe is going to deliver tons of jokes. I love it. So you better be ready. In the windy city of Port yes. Elizabeth. So you best hold on to And 30th of um, September, it's going to be in Durban. In Durban. Yes. Joburg? Uh, I'm not doing Joburg because I'm so busy this year. I'm going to come to Joburg next year. Okay. And we have a movie coming out today at the cinemas nationwide, which we did with the Nigerians. It's a Nollywood film coming to South Africa. It's called 10 Days in Sun City. It showcases the beauty of South Africa. That is amazing. By the way, I mean, you just threw that in, that there's a new movie coming out. I'm so proud of you. It was such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, you so much. Make, don't be such a stranger. You've got to come visit us more. Tenjiwe, go book tickets. Uh, her show in Port Elizabeth titled Hurricane Tenjiwe. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you on Monday morning. Enjoy. Dodo X. All right, just before you enjoy those beautiful sounds from Dodo X, let's...